Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Evan. In today's video, I'm going to break down the one and only trade that made me 20% trading QQQ calls today. As you can see on my screen, we got QQQ pulled up and we have multiple levels marked out. I will explain those as we go. Going into the day in the pre-market, we ended up pushing down. Now, with that being said, I was looking for a break of this 408 level, which you could see I had multiple touches on it as well not only in the pre-market but as well as yesterday and i was looking for a break below 408 for a further downside move obviously as you can see we did not get that today we ended up pushing up now with that being said as soon as market opened we ended up pushing up creating large wicks at the bottom showing that buyers were in control continued pushing up following this one minute nine day ema right here pushing up very aggressively now one thing that i looked at after the fact today that i could have taken was a break above this pre-market high right here which was this 408.4 level we had two touches you can see one right here and one right here and if i would have followed a game plan around this area i could have easily entered there uh tolerated this pullback with no break below the 45 day ema and it could have rallied up for me right there. Now, with that being said, missed opportunity. Nonetheless, we looked for other opportunities. Initially, like I said, I was biased on the day. I wanted it to go down. It, it did not end up going down. So instantly, erase the bias. Done. Forget about it. Throw it out the window. It doesn't matter anymore. We see that the market is pushing up fairly aggressively. We see it have this nice push up here. A decent pullback and it's continuing to respect the nine ema right multiple times multiple touches on the nine breaks through the nine touches the 20 respects the 20 pushes up again now this was my key for this entry and i made two of these throughout this market cycle the first one i did not take the second one uh, you can obviously see that i took the first one right here and i'm going to show you guys i don't normally use fair value gaps but what a fair value gap is is basically the body of this candle. So you take the previous wick, so that would be right around this area, you take the previous wick, and the next candle's wick, so right around there, right? And you mark out that body, so I could just do that right there, and you can see, moving over, that it pushed up, it pulled back into this, it got supported by the fair value gap, number one, and number two, it got supported by the nine EMA. So double conviction right there, I saw this play out, did not take the entry. It was too quick for me. I was looking for it to kind of like break below that 9 EMA because I wanted a little bit safer entry. We never got that, unfortunately, but that's okay. As you can as you can see, I did the same thing here. Now, this is arguably a, I guess, a two fair value gap setup. You can see this fair value gap that I have right here on this candle. I could have made one on here, right in there. But with that being said, I didn't want it to be so close to that previous high. So I made it off of the lower one and I made my stop loss a break below, a break and hold, a break and close below the 20 EMA. We never got that. So I entered here right below, right before we entered this fair value gap. We barely touched that fair value gap, got supported by the 20 EMA. Almost zero drawdown on this, which was absolutely beautiful. And if you guys don't know already, the red arrows are my entries, the purple arrows are my exits. So I entered right here at this red arrow. We ended up pushing up beautifully. We broke that 409.8 level, which is what I'll explain now. I had 409.8 marked out because I wanted us to hit that. And then the next psychological, like a major psychological level, level would have been 410. Now I didn't end up selling above 410. Um, just mainly because of the consolidation, these last four candles before we had a decent pop up, I wanted to get out of it. I didn't want to play any games. I didn't want to get caught in a massive pullback. So simply follow the market trend today entered here with that double conviction, that fair value gap that I drew paired up with a nine and 20 EMA support. Boom. We ended up pushing up, got rejected slightly at the 409.8 level supported again by the nine EMA too easy push up, break above that 409.8 level. And once we enter the 90s, I sold my position right there. Once we enter the 409.9 area, that's where I sold my position. And that was a, from here to here, was a 20% gain today. Absolutely beautiful play, almost zero drawdown. 
super easy. Now, yes, it was scary because my previous bias was uh, to the downside on the day. So with that being said, I just I erased that from my mind and I thought, listen, if the market's going to push up and all the momentum looks like it's going up, why am I trying to play puts? That's one one thing you have to like question yourself on is why are you trying to play puts if the market looks like it's going in one direction? Why are you fighting the trend? If you fight the trend, you're nine times out of 10, you're going to lose. And in this case, just perfect example, I didn't fight the trend. I went with the trend, got a good entry, boom, took my profits and I'm out. I'm done for the day. And now I'm making this video and everything's looking great. So essentially after that, we ended up pushing up, breaking above that 410 level. I wasn't in for that, but if I was, I would have had to hold through all this chop right here. So hopefully you guys learned something from this video. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button down below. And hopefully you guys can apply this to your own trading. Use this fair value gap strategy. It was one of my first times actually, actually taking a trade with the fair value gap strategy. I have back tested it just like I did previously here, but no entry. But this time I actually did take the entry and it ended up beautifully. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Please hit that like button down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.